Welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to show you how easy it is to design an application using Ellipse 3.0 plugin for Adobe Flex Builder and how fast you can have this application running on a Windows mobile device. Let us start this tutorial by creating a new Ellipse 3.0 application. Call it Hello World App. Next, we keep the default. And then, in the library path, we check that Ellipse Flex SDK is selected. Going to the design view, we'll display a what you see is what you get user interface base tool in order to design my application layout. From there, I can set the width and height of my screen. I can access the complete list of properties of my main window and change, let's say, the background color to set it to black. I am now adding a couple of UI elements. Let's start with a button. Call it Hello World. Pretty convenient to change the position of every object. And then an image. So you can see that thanks to this design view, customizing and designing your application look is pretty easy. Fine tuning the position of my image so it fits with my screen. So I'm now moving to the source view where I can see all the elements I've been creating in the design view. I'm now copy pasting a new image in the resource folder and then it appears in the source directory automatically. So I can change the tag of my image and I my different properties such as source, which is the name of the image file, earth.png. I then give it an ID so I can later reference it, ING, and then set the alpha value to zero by default, meaning it's going to be transparent. What I want to do next is to create a fade effect. So when I'm clicking on my button, my image will be displayed smoothly. So I give it an ID, fade in, then select the duration of my effect, let's say one second, which is a thousand millisecond. Then define my first value and my last value. So I'm going from alpha zero to alpha one in order to display my image. Okay, so now I just need to add a little action script in order to call my fading effect when clicking the button. So all I need to write is fade in, the name of the effect, dot play, and put in parentheses the name of my image object. That's it. So how does it look like? Pressing the play button will launch the Ellipse 3.0 simulator from where I can test my code. Pressing hello world, I see my image that is appearing smoothly. Great! I'm ready to build for Windows Mobile selecting my Hello World app. And this package is building. I can check out the result in the console. Process completed. So I can now retrieve the Windows Mobile.cap file that has been generated by Ellipse 3.0 out of the code I just wrote using Adobe Flex Builder. I am going to use ActiveSync in order to access to the file system of the Windows Mobile devices I connected to my PC. With it, I can copy paste my Hello World app.cap file and make it available on my device for installation. So let us check it out on target. I connected my webcam in order to show you what's happening on my Windows Mobile device. Going to the File Explorer, I can retrieve there my Hello World application. I click on it in order to install it, as I would do with any other .cap file. Processing. Here we are. Just press OK. Then going back to the menu, I can see my application, Hello World. Click on it to start it. How oh, great. So let's click on the Hello World. Now I can see my Earth image. 
Thanks for watching. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it will help you getting started with Ellipse 3.0.